So while he adjusts the font, let me say this is Enrico Zini. He's a member of the new maintainer front desk and a Debian account manager. New member. New member. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, NM, front desk. Uh, and this is an open discussion about the NM process and the current status of that. So uh, give Enrico a round of applause for starting this. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Um, I am the, uh, okay. Um, this is the, uh, all, uh, it's getting a tradition in DevConf to have uh, a session about a new member process. It started with the AM, NM, DAM, FD, something else, BOF uh, in Spain. And uh, we missed Nicaragua because none of us was there. I am the only person here uh, that among the, the, the front desk and dam. Uh, so uh, for any, uh, it's, which makes it easier if you need to talk to someone <laughs> about it, uh, uh, come look for me. Uh, I am the only person until now, <laughs> uh, because I wouldn't mind creating new members of the team very soon indeed. So. You could, there, we, there could be a chance to have more than one person from uh, the new member front desk at DebConf this year. It's up to you. Uh, okay, so uh, that's what I wanted to do. Start with um, a bit of chatting about current things to break the ice. Describe the current status from the things I'll tell you the things that the cabal knows, and then uh, tell you what the cabal needs, and some more chat in the end. Um, uh, so, show of hands, who uh, has never heard of the Debian new member process? One? Okay. Um, who is involved in the new member process somehow? Okay. Is there anyone going through the new member process trying to get an account here? Not, uh, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyone who just got an account? Okay. You just joined. Oh, okay. I'm not sure I got the question. Uh, are you, uh, have you officially applied to become a Debian developer? Not yet. Okay, then, okay. Um, application managers here. One, two, two. Uh, actually, we need more applicants than application managers now. Uh, okay, and we have a former front desk member. Um, yeah, okay, so... And so, uh, the new member process, for those who never heard of it, is what happened, what, what it, it's, the, 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 it, it's the process about uh, making people become Debian developers. Uh, a person applies to become a Debian developer when they have already experience with the project. So it's not about learning how to do Debian work, that is what Debian mentors is for or other Debian teams are for. But there is a time after one has been contributing for a while that perhaps we would like to have their opinion in Debian elections. And so, uh, or they would like to, you know, be an official member of the project, get a hat, and uh, you get mails from Google recruiters every two weeks <laughs> if you are in the list of Debian, or even if you don't want. <laughs> uh, it, if you want that, then it's the new member process that decide 
okay, you can be a DD, no, you can't be a DD, go away. Uh, perhaps you can be a DD, but you need to corrupt me with more beer or something like that. Um, by the way, I am not corruptible with beer. I rather more enjoy wine and cheese. Oh, there was free wine and cheese all night. That's fantastic. <laughs> was, was, was <laughs> True. <laughs> anyway. Um <laughs> okay. Um, so, for those who are application managers, how's it going? Right, still waiting for new applicants. Great. Great. Nobody has a problem. Three, two, one. Excellent. For those who are dealing with an application manager, there was none. Okay, no problems there. <laughs> um, excellent. So, for those coordinating the whole process, instead, things are pretty dire. Um, currently, um, so, the way the process works is you say you would like to be a Debian developer. Uh, that can happen after you've done uploads, that can happen after you've done any other sort of work in Debian for a long enough time, you know how the community works, and so, okay, you say I'd like to be a member, an official member of this community, uh, uh, get, uh, okay, and, and, and so you get some existing Debian developer to advocate you which is an existing Debian developer that says, well, yes, I believe this person has enough knowledge about it that, that they can be Debian developers right now. So once that happens, we have a look to see if the advocate was not drunk at the time, <laughs> and perhaps we would like to see a little bit of, uh, see the name of the person somewhere in Debian, just doesn't, came out of the blue, or if it came out of nowhere, then we would like to have a reason why maybe they were working for NSA and they've done a lot of secret Debian work that would, could not be disclosed, so we can be told confidentially about these things. So once we are satisfied that um, one has some experience, then we assign an application manager to this person. And the application manager has a long chat with the applicant. Uh, and the chat has several questions. They usually come from a set of templates for convenience, but it's quite free. What? I'll oh, pick the microphone. Don't tell the NM. I usually the tell the NM. I usually tell people where the templates are, so they can, you know, have a look and. Yes. Um, I really liked when I had an applicant who was faster in answering questions than I was in asking. <laughs> and I asked, what the hell is going on? And he said that he was bored waiting for an application manager, so he took the templates and answered all the questions, and it was just copying and pasting. And I was like, that's cool. We got over the whole thing in, in, in an afternoon, and he was one of the fastest people to get an account. Um, but uh, the point, the, it's not an exam. Uh, if you think about it, who would give you an exam where you can take your time to answer questions from home with nobody watching you, the internet at your disposal, and you can ask people on IRC, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, uh, the point of the questions is to make sure people had a look at several bits of Debian. Uh, we don't want to give accounts to people that then have no idea how the community works. If you're not interested in becoming a Debian developer, but 
you would like to know, you would like to know how the community works, then get the questions and answer them by yourself. It's a great way to um, put put your knowledge to the test and 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 explore things. That they're, they're really good pointers for exploration. Uh, once the application manager is satisfied that a person should indeed be a Deb developer, then they click a button on a website. It used to be <laughs> a lot more work than that, but now it's just click a button on a website, and I think I deserve a little applause for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> click a button on a website, add, uh, well, fill in a text, uh, I sh take back the applause, you also need to fill in a text area, say that you like that person and why, but it still no, takes. Uh, yeah, uh, but um, you click that button and then you say okay. And now the, the front desk and Debian application manager will have a look. Uh, front desk will have a look uh, to see if GPG signatures are valid in mails, if there are no missing mails, if um, the person has a key that is signed by at least two Debian developers, if the key is or at least 4,000 byte long, and some routine checks like that would, would filter, uh, would kind of check the obvious and try to to fill in what's missing or help people get a bigger key, something like that. Once front desk is happy that there's nothing obviously missing, they pass it on to them that reads all the conversation between the application manager and the applicant and reads the whole conversation and is like, okay, seems like these people knew what was going on click a button. Uh, <laughs> click a button and then uh, get uh, text, copy text from a text area, paste it in MUT and then assign it in line, submit to Debian RT, which will then take care of it. Um, so yeah, those are the steps. Now, um, from desk, with time, uh, the, the new member process got more um, tasks. For example, we now manage CollabMind access on Alioth. CollabMind is a, a repository, like version control system repository that all Debian developers have commit access to it. And any other person can ask to have commit access on it and they just need one Debian developer to say, yes, I would like to work with this person on something. Uh, we also manage that. So we get the requests and we need to go into the Alioth GeForge interface and click a button to say yes. And that's okay. Another thing we do, uh, we manage, we hand out guest access to Debian machines for people who are not Debian developers. So you f suppose you maintain a package, you are maybe Debian maintainer or just a sponsored person, and the package has a bug in some weird architecture. So you ask and you can be given uh, access to a Debian machine with that architecture, so you can just log in and test your package and try to fix the bug. Uh, we manage that as well. We manage people who were developers before and retired, but then they want to come back. So we also deal with that. We deal with uh, people that stop existing for the project without saying goodbye because they forgot or something. And then uh, we interact with the Debian MIA missing in action team to, well, close the accounts or send a round of mails saying, are you still alive? Please say yes. If you don't say yes, then we will close your account, uh, which happens after one has been dead for the project for like two years. Uh, and we still ask, are you dead? 
Um, anyway, um, so we manage a lot of things like that. Currently, the team is, the active part of the team is one person doing front desk, Jonathan Wiltshire, that deserves a big round of applause. <laughs> and front desk also takes care of creating new uh, people who apply and checking that everything is fine and assigning them to an application manager. Basically, they do all the work. <laughs> and Dam does all the rest of the work, which is basically <laughs> applying common sense. Da Dam is the person who is trusted by the project and has the responsibility not to put silly people into Debian. Most of the time we get it right. <laughs> um, and we also have the responsibility not to turn away sane people, uh, which sometimes is more difficult. Um, but uh, so front desk takes care of some many routine bits and Dan needs to read the whole discussion and make a decision. Uh, I have to say that because things function really well now it's very unlikely that some someone uh, it I don't recall people being turned down in the last stage because now there are ways to up an application manager will realize that someone is not good and well that's a bit social changes happen so that people are not anymore sort of forced to approve people or it would be a bad social thing to do, um, which is good. So uh, one person in front desk that handles people coming in, assigns them to application managers, uh, checks that uh, all the conversation is fine, deals with collab mind taxes, deals with guest accounts, and possibly some more. I blogged, if you go in my blog, there is a list of um, specifically here. Can you put a link to that in the etherpad? A link? Okay, sorry, yes, definitely. I'll put it here and uh, you can move it. It's fine. Okay, I'll I'll take away mine. <laughs> okay. Um Um, so that's the task of front desk. The task of them, uh, the routine task, of, that's the routine task of front desk. The routine tasks of them is to read through the whole conversation between application managers and applicants and make a decision. Then there's the non-routine tasks. I also, uh, and uh, well, one front desk member, one, only one active dam doing routine stuff, which is me. I need to rely, well, sorry, no, no, no. I can rely on Ganef and Mion uh, for emergencies or if I'm busy and so on, but they are busy. Uh, I also am, but uh, I'm <laughs> the one that, um, I'm the, the last one to join the team, so. <laughs> uh, and uh, the non-routine things can be complicated, like uh, controversial issues with conflict going on in the project sometimes requires damn attention. Um, or, well, discussing about changing the rules, making things better, 
in a way or another. Um, I also maintain uh, nm.debian.org, which is the website coordinating all of it. Um, now, uh, it used to be the case that front desk members were chosen among application managers. In the past, it made sense because a front desk member would review the work of application managers. However, it doesn't, uh, that is not true anymore. Many of these tasks have nothing to do with application managers. So yesterday we decided that any Debian developer, provided they have some experience with the project and they're reasonable people, uh, can be a member of Front Desk. And we would like to be able to split some of these tasks and have maybe one person to take care of one of them or two and other people taking care of others. So the, workflow, the workload is less. Uh, it's easy stuff. It, it, the commitment is not to have long amounts of time, but to be responsive. So maybe it's a case of 20 minutes, half an hour every day or two, rather than one day a week doing things. Um, and, and that's from the front desk side. Uh, to have new dams, well, one needs to, be into to have been into front desk for a while before being done. Now, that is a problem because we currently have only one possible dam candidate, which means that uh, things are fragile. Uh, I would like to get quite a bit, well, two or three front desk members and see where it goes so that at th there is a chance of things moving on and the team evolve and, and I'd like to be in a team where turnover is possible. Uh, I, uh, myself, I don't like to do routine tasks that much. Reading the conversations is interesting, but the way I work, I like to get into somewhere where there is a problem, try to fix the problem, do some routine tasks for a while to see that the situation really got better and then move on to another problem. I, I am not fixing new problems in the, I am not fixing problems in NM and I haven't been for s many months exactly because all my energy is taken by the routine tasks and that I lose a bit of motivation because of that. So the team is slowly losing health and sanity and we need new blood and souls and the Cthulhu references <laughs> uh, here. And uh, so join Arkham uh, and <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, now, in order to, one thing, uh, to be in front desk, you need to hang out in the secret Kabbalish IRC channel of doom where everything is discussed. So uh, a front desk member will read also the discussion between dams for controversial or private issues. So there needs to be some level of trust. Um, but if you've been DD for a while and nothing controversial has happened, I guess that's fine. <coughs> Unless you're usually flaming mailing lists, in that case, perhaps we don't want to have you around, uh, but who knows. Um, so if you are interested in uh, taking care of something like that, do come and talk to me afterwards. Um, now,
we are quite okay with application managers, but feel free to become one if you want to try. Uh, it's an interesting experience. It means you don't need to read Debian documentation anymore. People, you can just ask a person and that person will have to find out information <laughs> for you. <laughs> However, you need to check if the information, what? Yeah, provided that you find an applicant. Then, new job for application managers, finding new applicants. Uh, uh, however, you need to check that the answer is correct, <coughs> which means um, the, it's a great way to refresh your knowledge of things. So, yeah, uh, that's fun. Um, I don't quite know what happens with why we have lots of free AMs and not many applicants. Perhaps the, pro the whole thing is just healthy. Uh, an, an AM procedure became so much quicker that people get free faster or can handle more applicants. Uh, but I would need to ask Jonathan about it because I haven't been taking care of that side of it for a while. Now, there's also need for help with the website maintenance, nm.debian.org. No. This is the website. <laughs> and in the bottom of the website, it says source code is available. You click on available and you get it. And you, in the source code, there is, there is, uh, getting started file which tells you how to set up the whole thing in your machine. There is even a function in the website that, exp that exports the full, a full dump of the database which is anonymized so personal details are taken out. Uh, and that can be used to set up a working database in your machine to test things. And the working database will be almost exactly what is on the website, except there's some la 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 in, in comments about people, because, well, unless you're a front desk member, in that case, you get the whole thing. Um, we trust front desk members a lot, uh, and that is also a good way. After a while, you've been in front desk, uh, even just to do a trivial thing like approving collab mind requests, uh, then you have a very good idea about what goes on because you see all other discussions. Um, it's a very good way to get more involved with the, with the new member process and we value ideas from new front desk members. Just if there's discussion about some controversial issue, maybe don't try to push for your solution too much uh, because it would make the, 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 the discussion quite difficult. But still, um, it's a rather open, closed IRC channel. Um, so, um, I have some small tasks. If you, the website is written in Django. Um, so if you know Python and Django, uh, it's some rather simple Django model behind it. Uh, if you know Python and Django and would like to try and hack on it, I do have some small tasks you can try uh, to do. Uh, and if you can manage to do one of them, you can cross the bridge and... Uh, you know, join the team developing on the site. Do you need to be a DD to work on, uh, on the site or not? You don't need to be a DD to work on the site. Um, you can ask a DD to give you a dump of the database. 
uh, I trust that DDs wouldn't give dumps to anyone and at least they would know that they give a dump to a person that wouldn't disclose the list of emails of all Debian developers, for example, which is pretty much the only sensitive information you get at that point, but still. <laughs> right. Um, there are uh, uh, private emails. Because when you apply, you, you, you put which email you want your Debian email forwarded to, and that's, that's in the LDAP dump if you are a DD, but you don't see it if you're not a DD. And I don't have a problem if a non-DD would see it, but then a, a DD should take responsibility kind of for it, not to give it to uh, random people. And... Um, yeah, you don't uh, I have a question about that. Yeah. Well, I know I'm, uh, why uh, it seems like it would be better if the DB export simply removed those so then it could be completely fine for anyone to download it. Yeah, uh, I haven't done a proper audit on what else can be inferred from that dump. I've done it a bit in a hurry. So unless that's kind of proper audited, I don't feel like making it public. Um, so yeah, a anyone can do it, uh, but I you probably, uh, especially if you are a DD before joining the, the IRC channel, but who knows, honestly. Uh, although if you end up being in the front desk IRC channel doing active positive work uh, with enough common sense to understand what goes on and making good calls, possibly somebody would ask you why are you not a DD yet. <laughs> Um, and maybe that's a good way to become a DD very fast indeed. Um, but yeah, uh, the website is there, the, the, the code is there, you can get a dump, you can run it in your machine. Uh, I can share my to-do list with you, which basically means also explaining what it, the stuff I wrote in it actually mean, because it's a bit of a mess. Um, this is... Um, Oh. Enrico, while you're fiddling with your computer and one more question slash suggestion, yeah. uh, can you can I suggest that you schedule a uh, boff that's even more casual than this for people who want to set up a development instance and quiz you about that, like in Penta? Um, you mean a boff for uh, an uh, NM website hacking? Yes. How many people? Oh, how many people would be interested in that? One, two, three, four, five. That's a lot more six, than zero. Seven. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Consider it scheduled. Uh, okay. When is it? <laughs> uh, let's anonymize. <laughs> I, in my to-do list, I put IRC dumps for people submitting ideas so that I also remember who I need to tell. I've actually done it. And they would usually go, when did I ask you that? And I'm like, perhaps two years ago. Ah, cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is an example of... Uh, Multiple exclamation marks are a sure sign of a diseased mind. Um, okay, um, so such um, incredible things as when you advocate a Debian maintainer to be a Debian developer, automatically check that you want that person to have upload rights. <laughs> it currently defaults to non-uploading. <laughs> um, yeah, that there's a few things to fix like that, uh, which are probably very good. Uh, or improve the weekly report that is sent to the Debian new member mailing list. That sort of things would be really helpful. So, uh, further discussion about nm.debian.org delayed to the awesome nm.debian.org hacking buff. Uh, coming soon. 
uh, so uh, we can go to the last bit, which is uh, uh, question and answer, not quality assurance, <laughs> brainstorming, proposals, and more chat. Questions? Ashish? Well, I have a question. Uh, so you wanted volunteers for front desk and maybe for application managers, is that right? Uh, application manager is not that urgent. Okay, anything and else? Well, you don't need to be an application manager to be in front desk, so yay. Uh, so uh, front desk and uh, website hacking. So uh, I have a question for everyone then. Uh, is there anyone in the room who is a Debian developer who's interested in being on the front desk? Now's a great time to raise your hand higher. Higher, come on, come on, I can see you right there. <laughs> One, two. How fresh do you have to be? Or how fresh? Yes. Uh, the question is how old, how long have you had to have been a Debian developer? Right. Uh, yes, exactly. It used to be the case that in order to be an application manager, you needed to be a new, so you needed to be a, a, dev, a DD for at least six months, which was killing everything because you wanted to be an application manager when you're just out of the process and you clearly remember what was going on and the process was a part of your life. So we wait six months to, to get you involved in everything else in Debian except the new member process and then we are like, would you like to come back? <laughs> on the other hand, um, that is something from the past when we assumed that people who were uh, not Debian developer had no experience in Debian. Now, we require people to have experience in Debian before becoming Debian developers, so I would be okay relaxing six months requirements like that. Uh, we did not talk about it with the other dams, so I would like to run that through the others before saying, cool, no problem. But, uh, yeah, okay. Enrico, but you... But uh, I, I, it's not fair to ask them to reply <laughs> right now. Um, but I, I would definitely, yeah. Enrico, but you, you asked for the front desk. So I was asking back, how mature do you have to be as a DD before you can help with the front desk people? Yeah, the general idea is that if we ask six months of experience before being application managers, then we should probably ask two years before being front desk. But why should somebody be such an old season developer in order to yeah. check that uh, some GPG signature is okay? And click a button on GeForce on Aliot, <laughs> right? So. There's not much point on it. Um, so I would think that wouldn't be a problem, but uh, okay, five minutes. So Gennef replied, uh, basically, sanity checks of new members stay anyway, so yeah, it works. Sanity check of new member works? S no. They stay anyways, so that's what he's saying. So he, he says, uh, as I understand it, it's not really, he, he says we don't need a defined waiting time now. So. That's Gennef saying there's no need for defined waiting time. Yeah. Um, okay, cool, yeah. Okay, so let's talk afterwards. Uh, I, ha I asked who else was interested in being part of front desk. Can I get you guys to raise guys and, and or gals to raise your hands and have somebody else write down your login names, please? <laughs> I, I'm completely serious. Please do that again. Raise your hands. Raise your hand. You're excited. Who else was there? Uh, what's uh, somebody write down your login name? What's your login name? Okay, great. Uh, who else was there? Jan Didi. Okay, at least it's in the audio. Okay. Okay, yeah, Daniel, WDG also. What? WDG is another username that you should add to your prospective front deskers. Okay, WDG. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool, uh, okay, more questions? More, 
Ideas for improving things used to be a big one in the past. Now it's obviously perfect, nothing to improve anymore. Um, problems you recently had, oh, I already asked that before, so yeah, it's what? So the, besides getting new people to help, what you are saying is that the Debian new member process is currently perfect. So if not... Oh, I see your hand. I'm using Debian since 2000, and in the meantime, I got the impression that becoming a DD is something really hard, and you should think uh, really well about it before you apply. And now I take it as a positive uh, development that I'm actually encouraged to right. apply. Cool. And th this was just a remark. Uh, maybe some other uh, members of the audience have this uh, idea of, well, I should really be really good before I start to apply. And maybe that's not the case anymore. Maybe we should encourage, or you do encourage no, no, people. No, 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 you should be really good before yeah, applying. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, you, if you are still learning, then mentors is the place to go. But um, because I, I, if the NM process is about teaching people, then things take ages. Uh, it should just be about, okay, you know your stuff, or you know where to find things. Uh, cool. You, you, or you don't do things without knowing what you're doing, actually. Um, about knowing what to do, it would be a great thing to for new member applicants to get a good idea what is to know your stuff quite well because I've talked to many different people who said yes of course you should become a DD you're already now and there's people who say no you aren't so I think I would be a good thing to have some guidelines to look at to, to say okay I can do it or I cannot until now if it's just about the questions I already answered all the questions and looked them up and stuff and that so I think for many people Asking themselves, am I ready? It would be a good thing to have guidelines. That is, I would be interested in doing it, but there is a rule that says that if somebody is ignorant, there is no way for them to realize their ignorance. Yes, I'm not uh, point in this question for overconfident people, but to underconfident oh, people. Oh, okay. You Fair never enough. will get out of the overconfident people, and I think uh, an application manager will quickly notice these because right. they start the process and all on. The people who really ask, sorry, ask themselves if I am ready will positive never really come to the conclusion. Yes, I am now. Good point. Can you pass this down? Help needed also for documentation. It's in an appalling state because the process has changed so much recently that we could just couldn't cope with keeping documentation up to date. So that's also volunteers needed. Um, how do we deal with that? Right. Well, uh, 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 I wonder, uh, um, uh, um, uh, there's uh, 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 some things that uh, um, uh, a perspective um, begins, uh, no, no, no. For, for, for example, I have uh, no idea uh, uh, what uh, are, the, are the tasks of, of uh, an advocate, uh, so, uh, 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 well, I'm quite afraid to ask uh, someone to advocate because I don't know if it's, uh, it's just uh, just uh, saying something, or it's uh, something that 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 takes uh, actual effort. Um, time over. Click a button on a web page, and uh, answer to it if one has clicked it too fast. I'm afraid time is up, but I will say that anyone who wants to help with documentation, in my opinion, should show up to the website Hackfest. Yeah. Also, yes. Uh, thanks again to Enrico for starting this, and to everyone for asking great questions. Thank you for coming. Now clap. <laughs>